Pope finally gives an apology for Canadian Indigenous residential schools. On April 1st, the Catholic Church finally issued an official apology after years of muted responses to calls from Canadian Indigenous leaders. The Pope was addressing a delegate of survivors, which included members of First Nations, Matisse, and Inuit pop, uh, community members. The apology came after multiple Canadian delegates met with Vatican officials and the Pope uh, demanding that, wait, and the Pope to express their demand for an apology. In 2015, Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission declared that the residential school system was a cultural genocide, which operated from 1883 to 1996. Catholic institutions ran more than two thirds of those residential schools. The New York Times reported that the commission claimed that, quote, at least 4,100 students died while attending the schools, many from mistreatment, neglect, others from disease or accident. In, in most of those cases, the families were not notified. The Pope has plans to visit Canada and issue another apology. He said he intends to travel to Canada where he, quote, would be better able to express his closeness. After how many years? 200 years? I mean, it first started in 1883. Okay. So I don't want people to, like, congratulate the Vatican for doing this. I want people to focus on uh, the fact that they did this horrific thing and they couldn't even, not only they wouldn't address it, not only they wouldn't fix it, not only they wouldn't um, condemn it, not only they wouldn't try to find justice for the victims, they wouldn't even apologize for it. They wouldn't even go as far as apologize. For it. it took this much public, something so easy. Even this Pope who's supposed to be like, I don't know, more progressive, like the first thing they should have done was like, oh my God, this is horrible. Uh, this is like, we, we apologize, we condemn this. Like they, even for something simple like that, they had to be pressured into it, okay? They don't deserve any congratulations or, you know, the fact that they couldn't just do this on their own and they have their arms have to be twisted to do something so obvious, that's what you should be highlighting, okay? And now that they're apologizing, I hope nobody thinks like, okay, we got, we got what we wanted. You know, the, the entire, all the victims of the Catholic Church is more than enough to completely dissolve everything that is that is the vatican and so sell all their asses it's, it's not all of their assets is not going to be nearly enough to uh, compensate to even begin to compensate some of the, uh, a fraction of the victims that the vatican church has right so the, the the mere existence of the vatican church is already way beyond acceptable like um, after all they have done, so nobody should accept this apology. No, sh nobody should congratulate them for this. You should be demanding for the whole thing to be torn apart, everything that they own to be sold and given to the victims for the past I don't know ever um, of what you know. Yeah, here's a little bit more of a statement. Quote: I feel shame, sorrow, and shame for the role that a number of Catholics. Just just a number of Catholics, particularly those with educational responsibilities, have had in all these things that wounded you, in the abuses you suffered, and then the lack of respect shown for your identity, your culture, and even your spiritual values. Um, what I thought was incredible was that he, like the Canadian government himself, Trudeau put forward a strongly worded statement about the Catholic Church's lack of an apology. They've been pushing for this, the Canadian government itself, for years. If I'm remembering correctly, Trudeau even said that they might engage in criminal proceedings against the, crim the, the Catholic Church, particularly because of their lack of apology. Like, I was like, holy crap, it doesn't get more stronger, like, worded than that. Um... Bubble has a very good comment saying, losing track of the crap the Pope has to routinely apologize for. Yeah. And, and remember this and then put that right next to the fact that the Vatican Church uh, consider itself to be a source of moral authority for the entire world. And imagine how ridiculous that is. And imagine every single person who, who t keeps telling us how we need religion to be moral. Well, they're busy themselves constantly apologizing for all the crimes that they committed in the name of religion. It doesn't make sense 
it, it, there's so many different levels where this like doesn't make sense. Like, why did it take so long when your statement was so mild? Like, this wasn't a statement that was seemed to be at least, you know, very carefully crafted by a PR firm, you know, where we have a real detailed and specific acknowledgement of what we did. Because I feel like real apologies for something of this gravity should say specifically what we did wrong, specifically how we tried to erase your identity, make a man out of the savage, etc. But there is, there is no specifics. It's just, I feel sorrow and shame and we, we disrespected your 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 spirituality and stuff like that. I mean, it's just like so milk toast and mild. It'll be interesting to see how this pans out when they the Pope actually goes to Canada. Uh, maybe we'll get more of kind of what I would have expected. Remains to be seen. Um, but it's incredible that they that they skirted it for so long, and then when it finally came, it was it was like this. Um, yeah. Oh, and Music Guy is making a very good point saying it shouldn't only be for Canada, to be honest. And that's true. Like these kind of school systems were set up all across the United States as well. And these these methods of cultural genocide against, I mean, people all around the world, but particularly all the way through the Americas is just well documented and just established and known. Um, oh, boy, this is a big comment. I don't even know if we can respond to this, Armin. Like um, PK to responds to it himself in the next comment. Okay, so Ethan uh, Kayyem is saying, although the past actions of the Catholic Church have been disgusting, they have done far more. They have far more progressive values in recent years compared to Islamic and Hindu leaders. And PK responds, I think that's far more due to the pressure from the Western world than their own moral values. Yes, I completely agree. All right. Yeah, I was going to say something similar, but because we run out of time, um, we will just PK, we just let PK's response stand. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.